everybody's doing good today. So today I'm going to be talking about a local, well it's not really local, it's actually a worldwide problem. It's procrastination. So for those who don't know what procrastination is, it's the action of delaying or postponing something. So while I was working on my project, um, <laughs> I did a survey and a couple of the students at HSC took it and I asked them if they had Tell procrastinated. 20 people took it. Not that many, but it was like a class size. But 100% said they procrastinated, of course. We've all procrastinated. Um, I asked them if they have regretted it. 15% said no, and 85% said yes. Um, I asked them how it affected them, and 90% said grades, 45% said family, 5% said sports, and 30% said friendships, and 50% said mental health. Um, I asked them if there was a system that would help them manage their time with homework, family, friends, work, sports, would they use it? 50% said yes and 50% said maybe. I also interviewed one of my former teachers, Ms. Stoner. She's an Algebra 1 teacher at this school and I asked her how does procrastination affect your students. She said that it affected her students because the kids who worked a lot and put the effort in her class, did good in her class, but the kids who didn't, didn't do so well. I asked her if she's noticed an increase <coughs> in the amount of students who procrastinate, and she said that um, for sure, and that it usually, she saw, she saw the increase once like technology and like cell phones became popular because it's of course social media, and we have like the world at our fingertips, so. That's really distracting. And I asked her how we could improve it, and she said parents need to be aware of the situation. They need to limit the amount of time they allow their kids to be on the phone, and never let kids have their phone when doing homework, and especially when going to sleep. Um, how does procrastination affect us? You will, bro you will blow opportunities. You, will, you won't be able to meet your goals. You could ruin your career. You will lower your self-esteem you will make poor decisions, you will damage your reputation, and you will risk your health. Because procrastination leads to anxiety, and that leads to depression, which isn't good. Um, so my solution is to make a schedule to have enough time for school, work, family, and friends. To have a full eight hours of rest and eat breakfast every morning because studies show that you feel more uh, energized and more focused in school and I also started a website called start right now forward slash weebly.com and on this website you will find uh, information about procrastination how it affects you and hopefully if it becomes bigger I want to start a fundraiser for schools who don't have enough funds so they can have free tutoring like we do at HSC and have different programs to help students get to succeed Thank you, Sharks. If you have any questions, you may ask them now. Well, so, uh, no. <laughs> 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 say, overall, I think you did a great job. You seem very comfortable in front of us, so Thank that's you. not always easy. Uh, I like the fact that you did kind of set up, you know, what procrastination was, how yeah. it, you know, can impact both, you know, yourself and others around you. I think the, the two thoughts and recommendations I would have, one is I love that you interviewed your former teacher. Yeah. That's a you know great source for this sort of uh, presentation. I think that having more bullets up there, and it's a little hard because I know you were trying to quote exactly yeah, what she was right. saying, but you know the gist of it, or even being able to just kind of say, you know, this was a quote from her, rather than having so much on the slide that we're focused to read a little bit more than paying attention to what you're saying. And also, I love that you went ahead and set up a website. I think one of the things that stuck with me is it's easy to say, yes, you should try to build out a schedule that allows you to have time for friends and for family and for homework and everything else. But a lot of people don't really know how to do that or how to go about making sure that they allocate their time appropriately. And so it might be a unique thing for your website to have some way for people to help build out their own schedule. I don't exactly know what that looks like, yeah. uh, but as you kind of progress and move forward with this, that could be another avenue for you to look at to kind of help people longer term with the procrastination issue. Thank you. Yep. I agree with everything that Megan just said. 
I think I like that you did your own research. That's impressive. That's not an easy thing to do, to tabulate, to develop it, and to do it. That was That's a good piece, um, which led again to a website thought, which again is a good thing to be able to do. Um, you might connect with, um, Ms. Habe, tell me it's Cole that had that. He was morning. doing procrastination. Yeah. Do you know Cole Hornbuckle? Horn um, I think I do. Yeah. Um, it may be you can talk with Ms. Habe and communicate with him because he's got a topic like this. So you kind of both are thinking along the lines, but I think um, it's kind of good. You could partner with something and see, share your data and see what he has to say. So, um, but anyway, I, I think, um, do you procrastinate? Yeah. I mean, me too. <laughs> um, anyway, um, so I think what's important about that is those priorities and helping people establish, how do you establish a priority? You know, if yeah. it's due Friday, but I've got eight things due Thursday, how do I balance some of that? So I do think, and Megan, that's a really good suggestion to maybe come up with a couple tools to use that people could use off the website. So anyway, thanks for your presentation. Thank you. I thought it was great. Thank you. Um, I, I mean, I, I was only here yesterday and today, but um, I think you it's evident that you've taken a lot of feedback from other presentations that you've seen and incorporated um, the doing your own research again was is it, it adds so much credibility to what message you're trying to give and and really is a good a gauge I think for any anybody doing research to determine whether you what you think is a problem is really a problem yeah because you can say I think this I think this is an issue and then you survey some people and find out no it's not really then you need to move to something else right, right. you don't devote all your time to right. something that's yeah. not really an issue um, so um, I think the survey piece was great um, your graphics um, it was just a, a ni nicely organized um, well done thing the only the only thing I would suggest if you if you move further into this is um, thinking a little maybe honing in a little bit more about the why the why people procrastinate you know yeah is it because I have this thing to do that I just don't like doing those things and so I always put them off to the end or you know some people are completely the opposite I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna do the stuff I don't like first so that I yeah. can, you know, go to stuff I really enjoy doing. Yeah. So, good job. Thank you. I liked how you interacted with the uh, with the audience. Uh, you used a little humor. You you looked relaxed. I know it's probably a yeah. little scary to be up there, but you looked relaxed. I think you came across very professionally, and uh, I enjoyed hearing your presentation. And, and I like that you had some solutions. You you absolutely run out the problem, but I like that she had some solutions to offer that made a lot of sense too. So yep. good Thank person, so good much. job. Yeah, from the get-go, I mean, your um, persona rocked it. I mean, you were very confident. You know, you started, what I like, you started from here's what it is, the basic definition of procrastination. You can't get any simpler than this, here's what I'm gonna define. Um, and then you went to the intro, and the poll was your peers, which you, know, you could have went larger. You could have said, I used this statistic from California, but you went with, with your peers. Um, and then whether or not it was meant to be, the 100% was, was pretty humorous. Yeah. And, and you fed off that, and that, that, was, that was really good. You knew your info, you had it on the slides, but once again, your confidence um, really showed. I like the cause and effect here, and, and I think it could have been uh, what causes it a little bit more, but here's what it is, here's the effect of it, now here's what I'm gonna do. Um, you took ownership, um, here's what I did, and, and if I could get, you know, and we're gonna go from there, but if I could get one um, small tidbit almost like the real shark tank on TV. Right. Sharks, I'm doing this, now who's in with me? Who's in, who's gonna build on that? And I, I think you did a really nice job. Thank you. I love the humor. Um, and the other thing is, I, I think it was fantastic that you didn't have any note cards. I think the best presentations are ones that come across as more of a conversation and as a dialogue than just reading something off of either the screen or note cards, so I thought you rocked it. So Thank good job. you. Any other questions? Okay, thank you guys. <laughs>